Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome guys to the second part of our tutorial and in this part we are going to learn how to create the home page or what I have called is search details page or this page whatever. So we have learned how to create the record section uh, this uh, record section or record sheet. Now we, this is our target. In this search this is a search section we will say We'll first what we'll do is uh, uh, go to the record section, select all the cells until the total absence and give it name. In my case, I have named it students table and it's students table name defined. Check, let's check name. I have students table. Okay. Now let's go to the home tab or home sheet. We'll say equals concatenate and for text first text we'll say we look up look up value is of course we are, we are searching for ID table of array is students table and column is 2 I want to search for excuse me I want to search for this name B Mohammed Ali so I'll go in here and the column index is 2 and that's all now we'll say comma double quote space double quote again comma and say we look up again look up value is a7 this and table of array is uh, again students table and column index is this time 3 the last name so I want to display whole name including last first and last name okay I think this should work and close the bracket and it is working so if when I click on one it gives me Muhammad Ali Yasin which is this Muhammad Ali Yasin okay total days equals this thing plus this thing. Easy as that. And in the total total presence section, we'll say equals. Okay. In the and say we look up. Look up value is this. So we'll I'll press F4 in here. Table of array students table. Column is total absence as column number 6 okay so I'll say 6 and comma 0 so let's see total presence I'll check the presence by pressing F P in here by putting P in here so it will search for the P word and I should now get 3 in here in here I have three and total three years let me put up okay we'll not put anything right now I'll just drag this over here sorry I'll drag this over here and in here I'll say the cell is cell number seven which is total absentees and it's zero now going to the record I'll add a couple of absentees absent 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 to check if it's working so it's working total absence is total present is I'll give it one word to see the difference so now four absentees three presence and total days are total days now is it okay okay now the, the last thing we have uh, we didn't search for and that was what yeah contact ID contact uh, number sorry so we'll say insert of course it will resize my buttons but doesn't matter in here I'll say contact number number and just make it smaller yeah this much and increase this one size good 
In the content, I'll again say VLOOKUP. Lookup value is again A. I'm searching for A. And uh, table of array is students table again. And the uh, column is column number, I think it's work. So let's check it out. And I don't want any. I want the exact match. So this is the contact ID. Of course, this is contact number. Sorry, contact number is wrong, but it gives me contact number, which I type that school. Now in the daily sh attendance sheet, all you have to do is create a sheet which contains ID, P or A and student name. After that, just don't do anything in here. In this section, we'll say equals. Okay, we look up. Okay, lookup value is of course uh, this. Table of array is uh, students students table column column index should be <coughs> two and zero good so if I type one in here it gives me Muhammad Ali but I want the full name so what I'll do is just go into home section go in here F2 just copy all of this and go in the daily attendance equals paste this but instead of a7 it also has a7 uh, cell a7 so it won't be a problem so it gives me more value I'll just drag this over cell which I have for example I have 300 cells so it will go into 300 so two three whatever the number is it will give me that but for now it doesn't give me anything okay now for top present and or absent I'll click all the uh, cells in in here 300 or 400 you want if you want thousand it doesn't matter click on data data validation in the, the data validation I'll select list in the list I'll say P or A means present or absent you can check for late but I'll just so use present or absent so all the cells contains present or absent so the effect that you have seen in my sheet was it had uh, when I clicked absent it actually got red how did that happen so what I did was I'll I have selected all the sheets uh, all the cells I'll I have clicked on home then conditional formatting in the conditional condition formatting I have uh, clicked on uh, equals to in the equals to I have typed a or a now if I type a now again it will get red means the student is absent that what it means okay I'll just select all these click delete so it, this will be deleted now in the record section all we have to do is select all the records for example thousand or whatever and until the until the sheet ends from here to I think whatever the sheets are select all the columns and rows and just go to the same thing data validation and a or p so it won't accept any um, anything but a or p because a present or absence are our only option but uh, yeah late is option you can do that again but this is good so i'll click in here so every time i want to include present or absence i can just re type it from here p or just click on the drop down my section so if I type anything else like this it will say no you have uh, entered an invalid value okay so that's why I'm using present or uh, this data validation it has my own it has its own reasons because I don't want to just if you type something like that and it won't work now in here uh, in the contact I will do something later in on this thank you very much guys for watching and in the next tutorial we're gonna learn yeah no not next let me do this one 
equals today's date is equal to today again I have shown you how to create so it's Saturday zero nine or same thing uh, students present so I'll say equals count if I'll select all the student all in everything in here all the cells in here maybe 300 to 400 500 700 900 or thousand cells and criteria is what I'm searching for I'm searching for B now I'll close the cell and if I just click P in here sorry P in here capital P only so it, it will give me one P again two so it is working again equals count if range is same so I can mm, range the same this is the range the criteria is I'm searching for A okay so any absentees uh, in here will show me here so I can say daily check how many uh, total student absent and total student presence that's all now that's it thank you very much guys for watching in the next tutorial we are going to learn how to create buttons and do a couple of stuff advanced stuff and uh, inshallah we'll succeed in, in it and you will have a great shape thank you guys for watching and wait for the third and the last maybe maybe lost Detroit. Thank you guys. Allah Hafiz.